Hi everyone, this is Yong Kang He. As you can see from the screen, I love Kubernetes, I love AWS. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to automate uh, Amazon EKS 1.20 AE cluster in about 15 minutes, just run one command. Let's get started. If you don't have a AWS account yet, Typically, you only need about five minutes to sign up and try account. Give it a try. Once you have the AWS account ready, you just run the one command in about 50 minutes. We can spin up an EKS cluster. And once you've done all of your testing, if you don't want to keep it, just destroy the whole lab. It take about 10 minutes. So there are a little bit of preparation tasks. So first of all, you log into AWS console and you open Cloud Shell. And the second step is you're going to clone the repository from my GitHub page, and then run the install the required tools before you can customize some of the class name like instance type region or zone, but it's optional. You don't have to customize these. And once you have, you are ready, Basically, you just run EKS deploy.sh. We're going to spin up a new EKS cluster from the command line. You don't need to worry about how to create the IAM rules, how to create the control plane node, how to create the node groups, uh, how to enable the CSI, which is a container storage interface, and how to deploy PostgreSQL database. Basically, all of these tasks are listed here. I automate it. So let's see how it works. So I will jump to AWS console here and uh, I will go to my GitHub repository, the first one, EKS Casa. And uh, I will go straight to the readme section. So I already have the AWS console or cloud share open. I just clone the repository. So I'll paste the command here. Yeah, since I already cloned, you, see, you can ignore the warning. And the second step, if you haven't done so yet, if it's a first time, you need to run this. So copy the command to install the required tools like a EKS CTO, keep CTO, Helm. So paste the command here. We're going to install the required tools and set the environment variables. And then we're ready. So unless you want to customize the class name, instance type, zone, region. So we're ready to go. Just run the magic command, EKS dash deploy. So I paste the command here and it would start to create the EKS cluster and the plus created the, all the relevant uh, IAM rules, created a control plane node and followed by node group. And also we're going to enable the CSI drivers and the plus finally deploy a PostgreSQL sample database. The whole steps, it does take about 15 minutes. So I'm going to pause here until you finish. Okay, as you can see from the screen, so we already created the control plane. We already created the node group. Now we are enabling the CSI driver on the EKS cluster. So it take probably one minute or so. Yeah, now we're installing the required CRDs. So like the volume snapshot class, etc. And we are also creating the storage class uh, CSI uh, based on the EBS CSI storage class. And the final step is deploy the PostgreSQL database. As you can see, total time is 15 minutes, six seconds. I tell you what, AWS actually improved, uh, optimized quite a little bit from the last few few months. Yeah, this is the first time I see all of these tasks are just about 15 minutes. Previously, you need about 20 minutes or even uh, higher. Okay, let's see uh, what we have right now. If I uh, know the list, you can see right now, we just created a one node EKS cluster 1.20a, and it's only one node. And if you want to see what namespace we have, 
So I have the PostgreSQL database also uh, created. Yeah, if you want to check what ports we have. So these are the ports by default and plus the PostgreSQL database also deployed and all of these are running. So I mentioned earlier, we have the CSI driver configured. So what storage class we have. So in addition to the default GP2, which is AWS EBS uh, based, we also have the CSI based uh, storage uh, class, uh, EBS uh, dash SC. I think, uh, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, if you want to verify from the UI, yeah, before I run this command, there is no cluster. If I do a refresh, so you can see we've got one node cluster up running and it is running 1.28. Okay, just come back to the slide. As you can see, it only takes uh, 15 minutes to automate uh, all of these tasks. If you follow the official AWS documentation, I'm pretty sure uh, yeah, it takes you more than a lot more than 15 minutes to make it happen. Okay, so what about next? I love AWS. I do a lot of the testing. Once you've done all the testing, if you don't want to be keep charged by AWS, so this is another magic command, EKS-destroy. So it will clean up the whole environment. So let's say if I finish my all of my testing, all I need to do is I just run another command. So go to GitHub page and do a copy and then paste it here. So I'm paste it here and run the destroy. Typically about 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes, we will clean up the whole environment. So come back to the slide deck. Let's see what else we have. Just to including to include a few reference links, all the automation code are available from GitHub page. And the second one, if you want to follow AWS documentation about how to create an Amazon EKS cluster, the second link. And the last one is, uh, if you really want to create from the web console, I also have a different video to talk about how to build an EKS cluster from the web console. So the day one task is so easy with uh, the managed uh, Kubernetes cluster like Amazon EKS, but what about the day two challenges? What are the day two challenges? So number one, how to back them up? And the second, how to secure my containers on EKS? And you might have the needs, you want to migrate the containers to EKS. It could be from another region, could be from other availability zone, or maybe from on-premises, or could be from other cloud, to Amazon EKS. Uh, here's uh, quite a few links. Yeah, th these are all of my YouTube videos. Just to finish off, if anyone interested, yeah, please follow our LinkedIn page. So right now, yeah, I only created the LinkedIn page uh, probably from June. So far, we've got 1,600 uh, followers. Yeah, do follow us on LinkedIn. And also, if you're interested to join the Kubernetes discussions, I also created a Kubernetes data management uh, LinkedIn group. So far, we've got uh, close to 4,200 members. Uh, yeah, please follow us. I think that's all for today. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it is useful to you all. Any questions, please feel free to follow me via any one of the links listed here.